Uh, welcome to a new video and in this video I want to show you how you can globalize your Honor 50 or Huawei P50 Pro Chinese variant to be a bit more international. So let's get started. What you can see here is the screen of my Honor 50 and I apologize a bit in front it will be in a portrait mode most of the time but anyway what we want to do is uh, globalize our on a 50 chinese variant to make it more yeah uh, workable for us so what we'll do is just delete the stuff that we don't need like the specific apps that we have that are not usable at all in other countries and uh, we can do so we can choose some of them here as you can see here I did phone clone before to copy over my um, Mate 40 Pro's f f profile and some of the applications however um, like this one here can deinstall and the, all the good things about this uh, deinstallation process or uninstallation process is that first of all those applications maybe the honor store I'm not sure but first of all those um, applications don't work anyway most of the time in Europe or outside of China and the other thing is that it will of course make a lot of free space for stuff that you can install then later on oops this is also a cool feature by the way how you can create shortcuts for applications just by dragging them out but uh, most of those apps I really don't need because I don't even know what they are and probably they don't work or I don't want them to work on my phone. So this one is TikTok and I don't need this one. I don't need Weibo. Uh, WPS Office. I think I have a version already here. I'm sure. This is the, because sometimes they have a Chinese version. This is the Chinese version, yeah. So delete this as well and delete this as well. And you do this basically with all the apps that you don't want to have. And you can do this also with this uh, popular app and app advisor kind of thing. You go in here, okay, you have to agree to stuff and then you can remove them one by one as well to get rid of all the bloatware basically. So it is a bit of a boring process, but believe me, it works pretty nice afterwards of course getting you new recommendations for this kind of uh, maybe you can disable this yeah and then remove one after another until this folder for the app advisor is gone and you get you, you know that I want to make this video eight minutes so I get YouTube uh, income. Uh, there we go. And now we can like uh, rearrange all the folders and files, but I uh, spare you with this one. The next important thing probably for most of you is install a proper keyboard because the Huawei e e e M e keyboard, how's it called? I don't know. Uh, the uh, Honor input device, uh, Honor IME keyboard is not very useful so what I installed is Celia keyboard I'm using this by default and I'm going into uh, here and I can uh, change various settings that I want to change just like for example the input settings I don't like auto capitalization and auto correction uh, for most of the stuff because I like to do typos <laughs> and uh, yeah so get a nice proper keyboard just like I have here configured my Celia keyboard. What I do on the Celia keyboard is first of all I resize it a little bit to make it a bit smaller and then I set a vibration type because I like vibrations. Sadly you cannot set the um, as it called the mechanical keyboard here on the Honor 50 device but this is working fine. You can go here in more languages choose your language. I chose German and the QWERTS layout because I'm used to this by default it's going to the extended one which I don't like so I use the QWERTS normal one and yeah if you want to use a different language you can choose here press the plus button and it will be added to it what i'll probably have to add is a uh, chinese one as well and so this is how how it goes and you have now the chinese one also added probably already yes added here 
and you can go into the application now it is in Chinese if I just start typing it gives you some uh, suggestions and you can press here to switch between the different versions and now I'm in the German version again so this is working pretty nicely so this is the keyboard that I like to use you can also install Gboard you don't need Google services for the Gboard so it's also working fine if you want to use this uh, just use a pedal search here which I also installed it came with the phone clone app I think over or device clone app over then the next thing is uh, what you will notice pretty soon is there are a lot of Huawei apps on the Honor 50 but this app here the Huawei video app is not working because it's specified for the Chinese market and the way or the reason why it's not working is because all the data is stored in China and this would be against EU law so this is why it says okay it's not possible to use uh, the Huawei video but this has a problem with uh, the gallery app if I want to play some uh, videos in here it will also the video player uh, will use the uh, Huawei video video player and it could be that it also show you in a second or, or two hey you're not uh, allowed to use it because it's not showing it right now because when I resetted my phone and did this here I did the right thing and said I don't want any online services for Huawei music or Huawei video but if you by the accident enable this because it's by default enabled then it will complain so what you want to do is go to your app gallery It'll take a while to load here for me because I resetted my phone and what you want to search for is a Huawei um, Huawei video and when you have it you can see you can install it because it's a different application this is the European the global application or more European application but the global version which allows you oh there's an update for HMS core maybe I just get this as well uh, which allows you to um, yeah, use European or global uh, services and it is stored outside of China this is why there's a different app so that all the um, data privacy privacy uh, things are working fine you install this Huawei video app and what you will see in a second let me open it up after it's installed you can use this and you can set this as default video player of course you can set also other video players if you like VLC or MX player or something like this but I like the good experience of the Huawei video player I'm used to it it will load now the global version and you can see it will load and the German version is working fine all the online services are working fine as you can see here I can watch some some movies Deadpool 2 for example if I want to have to buy it of course but what I can do now is go into my settings and I can, can go 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 into apps and then default apps and then I choose more defaults and here for video I can choose Huawei video uh, default and you can see there's uh, two Huawei videos here this is the default one and I choose this one here uh, set yes this is the default one I want to have because this is the one that I installed just now I can also go and say I want VLC and then it will try to use VLC instead which is pretty nice for video documents so if you have a video downloaded in the file manager it tries to open a Huawei video which will then complain about uh, yeah not being in the right country you can change this here which is pretty nice a PDF document I also like to set a PDF document I like to use VPS office and uh, so I have VPS Office installed I think the international version yes uh, VPS Office is a nice office suite it allows you to um, it allows you to open all those files doc PPT XLS uh, txt PDF and others and yeah it's a pretty nice uh, application sometimes it has some um, advertisements here and there but it allows you to to export stuff to PDF and so on so it's working fine as a nice a little application for viewing PDFs so this is what I recommend uh, you to set as well for uh, PDFs in the defaults then what you saw probably is that some applications if I go out of here are still in Chinese like here so top searches and uh, tops on Weibo so it's uh, using Chinese stuff in here in the AI search widget and the same goes for the Google Assistant and uh, not Google Assistant <laughs> the Huawei Assistant today screen which looks like this and you can see we have a Chinese feed here that we cannot really configure we can go in here we can turn off the feed if we don't like it 
and we can search for updates there are no updates available what what we can do is replace them with the global version ones so i already downloaded those three uh, things here one is like uh, the ai search and i can just install it and uh, i will link to those applications that i extracted from my mate 40 pro and i can just simply install the ai search here and uh, yeah i can open it up if i want to it looks like this now it is the global version if i go in here and open it up you will see this will be the global version of the ai search and i have uh, stuff that i have to agree to and i can agree to and as you can see here we show top searches now in english in this case instead of in chinese which works fine the Huawei Assistant is the next thing that I want to do. Assistant today, you can update this as well because the global version has a newer version number 20 something instead of 10 or 11 something or it has 21 something. And you can install this as well. Click on done. And if I go to my Assistant today, you will see it is syncing up probably. I can say skip and and i can go in here i can go into feeds uh, and probably i can set up the feed that i want to have you can see it looks a little bit different and it should load now the let me reload here the feeds from the global news feed so i managed to fix it i went and changed the language to german and now as you can see here the huawei assistant today feed has taken my german news feed and of course i can just go in here and go again into my system settings and language and can change it back to english and now if i go out here and go into the huawei assistant and uh, reload stuff refresh stuff it should be in English, yeah. As you can see, it is now in English. So this is how you can fix the Huawei uh, Assistant. So it took me a while to figure this out. You have to change the language of your device and uh, then you can mm, change the um, Huawei Assistant through the Huawei Assistant and then under feed you can see you have the sources and then I can choose various different sources. By default, it's using Squid here in this case. So make sure that you're doing this to get the Huawei Assistant uh, working and then go into the browser uh, browser is also in chinese as you can see here what we can do in the browser is we can go into uh, the settings of the browser it's saying it has an update anyway we can go into settings of the browser first of all i like to have the standard view which is more chrome like or the old um, uh, firefox like and then i can go into home page and set it usually to uh, blank page yeah i don't like to have um, news page here and then i can go into search engines and i can change the search engines to custom and type in g and it automatically fills in google and uh, so i can have google as my main search if i want to i can also add DuckDuckGo or quant or whatever i like to have and the here. last but not least is the books application that i can use for reading ebooks and some other things so what i want to do is first i search for the books application to show you that this is a chinese version i think agree as you can see here is a chinese version and it's loading from the chinese websites chinese books which uh, might be interesting as well I cancel out of here uh, because i don't want to use this version i like to read german or english speaking uh, news so i go in here i go where do i have my received stuff down and received files on a share and here i have my uh, bücher which is german the german for books and it's the books application the international books application and you can just simply install it over the chinese version and then you can open it up and you can see that it's uh, again wants wants us to agree to stuff and then we have um, changed region of course and then it will go into the english-speaking version of books 
of the bookstore as you can see it's loading right now everything is in english already and it is loading some books and giving you uh, in this case uh, because my huawei account is a german one it gives me uh, english speaking books as well as german speaking books and it's loading the uh, german uh, version of the bookstore here which is also uh, one thing that you want to do what you don't have to do is the music application when it comes to the music application if you enable if you are uh, huawei music uh, user it should work fine and open up huawei music just click next next agree a few times and it should open up the huawei music and uh, you have the possibilities yes to go to your local stuff and uh, yeah use it as is basically without much of problems so this is basically what you need to do to transition from a chinese version to a more globalized version of your operating system i showed it to you on the honor 50 but of course this will also work on the huawei p50 pro and other chinese devices you can find the apk links i will link them down here the free apks that i used Otherwise, you can also download stuff like Huawei Video. You can download from the App Gallery if you want to, so no issue there. And you can, of course, use Phone Clone as well or other applications to transfer your device files if you have an existing Huawei phone. If you don't, then just use the free APKs that I offered you. Otherwise, you can also search for the APKs and usually you find the global version and they usually install fine. The only thing that does not work is the voice assistant Celia you cannot replace this because it is like system baked and uh, yeah this is sadly not working if you found a way or more things to globalize to localize even further just write them down in the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye